Dear Lord, I just pray you would bless our reading of your word today. That, Lord God, we would get wisdom, get understanding, and stay on that path, Lord God. That it would take us and preserve us, and that we would cling to every word that you give us every day in our lives. I pray for personal devotions, Lord, that each person listening in would take time to be alone with you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you for tuning in to this devotion. If you like the devotions, please share them with somebody else. Uh, for saved and unsaved if you think it would be a blessing to them and at each end of each of these I have in the description a recipe for salvation so that's an important fact so today I want to talk about wisdom of God you know there have been times I have given out advice and it's been really good and there's been a few times I've given out advice and it's bad and I've learned not to give that advice anymore you know, I used to sell things on eBay, and I was pretty good at it, but I didn't sell antiques. And somebody asked me about an antique, and the price was high, and I said, well, hold on to it toward Christmas. And you know what wind up happening? <laughs> that thing dropped on the guy, and I cost him a lot of money because of my advice. So I'm staying away from my advice. What I want to do is give the advice of the Word of God. Here's what it says here in Proverbs 4, 5, and through 6. Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of thy mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. God's word is where you get wisdom from. God allows his word to work in each and every one of us, and sometimes in a different way. There is one interpretation for the word of God, but there are many applications. And if you ever give advice, make sure you understand God's word when you're giving it so that you're giving the right advice so you don't make mistakes like I have done in the past. You know, our culture will say this is right and that is right. And one of these things that I'm trying to really do in these devotions is get across. We cannot trust the culture. We need to trust the word of God. If it conflicts with the word of God, then it's not truth. It'll preserve thee. What does preserving do? It takes and it puts something away to be used for later date. You know, I used to can tomatoes. You take the tomatoes, you put them in, you put them in the cooker, you cook it down, and you know, then you put it into a, uh, I forgot what you call the tank, and it heats it up so that you can can that and preserve it for later. There's a shelf life. And I think the same thing with the Word of God. If you're not leading the Word of God, your shelf life may wear out and you're going to wind up uh, doing things that are contrary to the word of God. You're going to wind up believing people that are contrary to the word of God. This is what's going to preserve you. This is what's going to give you wind to get wisdom and give you understanding. Take heed of the word of God. It is the thing that will preserve you and will make your walk in life much smoother. I hope this has been a blessing to you. And until next time, may Jesus increase as we decrease.